Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today, I got to talk about one of my addictions. I've got a lot of addictions when it comes to fishing tackle. I collect tackle of all different variations, uh, antique stuff, new stuff, custom stuff, you name it, I like to have it. Uh, I, I've, I've spent probably way too much money on tackle, but it's an addiction and I can't help it. So it is what it is. And uh, so one of the things I want to talk about today is custom crankbaits and when they excel. Uh, you know, with some of the recent tournaments that have been going on with this cold water, I've gotten a couple of people reach out to me and ask me specifically about when to use a custom crank, uh, like a flat side wood crankbait. Uh, are they worth the investment? Are they better than some of the other stuff that's on the market? And uh, yeah, so I want to talk a little bit about them today and, and kind of get into that. Before I do, I just want to reach out to you guys and uh, say if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, you know, I know if, if all of you subscribers who are out there right now uh, got one of your friends to subscribe, we double overnight so that you know it's really that simple and that easy to do i just ask you guys to reach out and spread the word uh, you know we have a lot of good information on this channel and you know i've gotten a lot of great feedback people are really appreciating it people are using it to catch more fish and that's what this is all about i want to help you guys catch more fish and i want to learn from you guys too that's why i always ask in the comment section to leave me comments for things that have worked for you in the past and you know issues that are things that haven't worked for you so i love hearing that feedback so feel free to share the channel guys if you know people that might be interested in, in subscribing and learning uh you know from the channel please do so it's it's great to kind of great to grow it and it makes it worthwhile for me to be doing this and uh yeah thanks to those of you that have already subscribed so to get into our topic for today i want to talk about the custom cranks you know, it all kind of started back with, you know, the old Bagley. This is an old Bagley, and this was kind of one of the first ones that was out there. Uh, still really sought after by uh, both collectors and tournament anglers today. They are great, great little baits. They catch a ton of fish. I've got a, several of them that I use uh, that are really beaten up. You know, this one's in pretty good shape still. I like to kind of keep the ones that are in good shape in good shape so i don't necessarily use them that much but a lot of it started with that and now there's a ton of custom crankbait market or custom crankbait guys on the market kind of scattered all throughout the country uh, and they're making incredible baits they are making baits that excel throughout all time periods of the year but there is something to them uh, early in the year during like the winter months when the water is still really cold that makes them just something you need to have in your arsenal i'm not saying you need to go out and buy 25 custom cranks but a couple of crankbaits you know that you you could have can really increase the amount of fish that you're catching during tough fishing periods you know i there are just way too many to mention I, i'm not really trying to get into it i do want to just kind of show like the variations i mean i've got so many so many cranks here it's ridiculous so these are rp customs uh dropped one you know these are some more flat sided ones and i can't even tell you who makes these so if anyone knows who makes these specifically i'd love to know there's no markings on them i bought them years ago uh i, I have a whole box full of them i got a really good deal on them and they work great but i'm not sure who makes them uh like this is a gandy uh gandy makes some great stuff and there's all different variations i mean you can get you know little fat guys like that you know these are this guy's kind of all squared off this is another rp uh some great stuff but i've got all different variations um and they're just they they the thing that i love about the custom cranks and something i hate about them too they're all 
custom. They're all individual. So you can get one that works great. And the problem is you may buy two or three more that are the exact same bait, same dimensions, and they don't run quite as good. They don't catch the fish for whatever reason. So that's the, that's the biggest downside, in my opinion. Because they're individually made, each piece of wood is somewhat different. Uh, they don't all work exactly the same. The bait could be the same, but they the fish don't see it as being the same. So that's one thing you want to be aware of. But they all seem to have their own time and place. It's really up to the angler to use the bait, to familiarize yourself with each bait, and then to say, okay, this works best for cold water. This bait runs four feet deep. This is the same bait, but it runs five foot deep. You know, it's really up to you guys. You have to kind of spend the time to learn the nuances of each individual crankbait. So it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but I'm telling you, if you do that, you will really get a good understanding of each bait and know when to use them. You'll know when to choose, you know, like I said, these, these are the same cranks, but this one might run different than this one. And you'll know when to use this one versus this one. Um, so it's up to you guys to kind of put in the time, but once you do, it'll be worth it. So when it comes to these baits, in my opinion, they excel for several reasons. One, like I said, they are individual. And for whatever reason, one will run better than another. And because of that, those those ones that have that little something special to it are, are like lifesavers. Like you cannot lose that bait. You get stuck, you better jump in and go swimming after it. You don't have that same thing with some of the, the mass produced baits, the plastic baits that all really run almost identical. For whatever reason, I don't find that those baits, you'll get kind of that one special one out of the batch. You will get that with the custom baits. They also excel in cold water periods. There is something to, you know, the majority of these baits are silent running baits. They don't, you know, they, they don't have that loud, obnoxious sound. And I really feel like there's something special about a wood bait hitting off the rocks that generates a, a natural uh, sound in the water that the fish key in on during those cold periods. I really don't feel like a loud, obnoxious bait in really cold water is something that the fish want to be uh, associated with. I'm not saying they won't eat it, but they will eat a quiet, silent wood bait way faster than they will a loud, obnoxious rattle bait. So that's definitely something that you want to keep in mind. I also think that they come through the rocks a little bit better. Not only do they make that, that more natural sound when they beat off the rocks, that sounded really bad, when they knock the bait off the rocks, uh, but I think they swim through the rocks better. And some of that is that they're a little bit more buoyant. And some of these baits are all different. Some are cedar, some are pine, some are balsa. They all different have different float rates. And again, that's why you need to take the time to learn about your bait so that you understand how they're going to react. Some of them don't float nearly as fast. Balsa, high floating wood. But when they you can when they come through the rock, I feel like they come through the rocks better than a plastic bait will, and they don't get snagged up nearly as much. So that's, again, another really positive point to them. Uh, you can use them year-round. They definitely catch fish year-round, but I, I feel like they lose that something special in the warmer months of the year, and that's kind of when you can get into some of your other uh, mass-produced crankbaits that will excel just fine. You also don't normally get a good custom balsa bait that will dive quite as deep as some of the plastic baits because they have that extra buoyancy. I mean, you can get, you can still get some really big deep divers, um, but a big deep diver like this with a giant bill, if it were a plastic version, would get down like 25 feet. This one's like a 17 footer. So you can see what I'm talking about. It's, it's, they're just more buoyant. They don't, they don't get down quite as deep. Uh, that's another reason why I think the majority of them excel in like that six foot of water or less range, uh, which again, during this time of year, when the fish are transitioning to winter into spring, that's where a big majority, pop, uh, big majority of the population will be is up shallow. 
they're up against the rocks, they're up against wood, things that are absorbing heat is where the fish are going to be this time of year. So that's definitely something that you want to be aware of. That's where these baits excel, around rock and around wood. And this time of year, that's where the fish are. So guys, I, in my opinion, you should have a couple of these in your arsenal. Uh, again, it's not something I feel like you need to go out and have 30 different crankbaits that are custom made that cost 20 to $40 a pop. Uh, but there are times that they truly do excel. And I think a lot of you will find that if you go out and get some, you'll become pretty attached to it and potentially get addicted, which is going to cost you a lot of money in the long run. But it's worth it because it catches a lot of fish for you. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, you know, maybe if you guys want, leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to get into like specific brands that I really like, I can do that. I just didn't want to make this like a sales pitch for any of these companies. It's really more just about, you know, are they worth it and when do they shine? And uh, yeah, guys, go out, you know, get, get yourself one or two, play with them, see what you think. I think you'll be impressed. Thanks for watching.